हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम बैक वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट प्लानिंग इन इंडिया एंड दिस इज़ लेसन नंबर थ्री जी द सेवेंथ वीडियो ऑफ दिस लेसन विल कंटिन्यू डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द फाइव ईयर प्लान इन दिस वीडियो ऑल्सो इन दिस वीडियो विल लुक फ्रॉम द नाइन्थ फाइव ईयर प्लान विच स्टार्टेड इन नाइनटीन नाइन्टी सेवन एंड कंटिन्यू अप टू द ट्वेल्थ फाइव ईयर प्लान आफ्टर विच द फाइव ईयर प्लान सिस्टम वॉज एबॉलिश्ड एंड वी मूव टू uh the niti aayog long term planning and strategic planning system that we'll see in the upcoming videos so let us finish about this planning phase the about the planning commission in this video so the ninth five year plan was from 1997 to 2002 it was a kind of continuation of the previous plan uh, which was from 1992 to 97 uh which during which very important economic uh policy changes happened in our country uh we adopted the lpg policy a uh, new industrial policy had come uh 1990 in 1991 so this was a kind of continuation of that previous uh five year plan however there were some other focus areas also like we started talking about social justice equality empowerment uh of you know rural people women etc rural development and creating jobs to reduce poverty and targeted agriculture and industrial growth to sustain higher gdp levels so this was the focus area uh the key projects that were undertaken during this period was uh special employment program and pradhan mantri gram sadak yojana this is an important one to build the rural infrastructure uh strengthened policies for self employment and informal sector growth so uh, we uh, strengthened the policies for self employment uh, skill development and giving loans to the people and also informal sector growth so these were some of the important projects during this period achievements was that we could have a growth rate of 5.5% uh, there was a moderate stability also uh, there was not much fluctuation increase in social sector spending we started our spending in education healthcare especially in rural areas and infrastructure improved with rural connectivity because of pradhan mantri gram sadak yojana so this was a very very empowering scheme of the government of india during the atal bihari vajpayee government so atal bihari vajpayee government had brought this very very empowering scheme of pradhan mantri gram sadak yojana which connected the rural areas with the district and state highways so uh, uh, which gave connectivity to the people and once people get connectivity they get mobility and mobility is empowerment basically uh, so critic uh, of this five year plan was that it failed to achieve its growth rate target due to the 1997 asian financial uh, crisis which happened in uh a few asian countries like thailand and uh, you know other southeast asian countries there were some droughts also during this period because of which agriculture was affected heavy reliance on agriculture led to vulnerability and uh, missed industrial growth opportunities so we again missed this industrial growth opportunities especially msmes so this was one of the critics of this five year plan let us move to the next one which is the 10th five year plan it was from 2002 to 2007 focus area was to achieve 8% gdp growth so see now this is the first time we are talking about such a high gdp growth balancing regional disparities education healthcare and rural development remained important focus area so these are the social sectors actually whereby people uh, uh, you know get benefited directly the key project was the one of the most important projects during this period was the campaign of school chale hum uh, so you know kids of this time must be remembering that there used to be a television advertisement of school chale hum which was of sarva shiksha abhiyan uh, sarva shiksha abhiyan was launched uh, during this period uh, which focused on primary education actually so compulsory primary education and uh, enrollment in schools was the primary focus of this program a lot of students who were not going to the schools previously were now encouraged to go to school under this program uh, it was to achieve universal elementary education so elementary education meaning primary education 
नेशनल रूरल हेल्थ मिशन एन आर एच एम वॉज ऑल्सो लॉन्च टू इम्प्रूव द रूरल हेल्थ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर सो प्रीवियसली बिफोर दिस हेल्थ वॉज यू नो निग्लेक्टेड इन अवर पॉलिसीज बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ द हेल्थ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर वॉज लेफ्ट टू द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट एंड देर आर वेरी फ्यू पॉलिसीज विच सपोर्टेड द हेल्थ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर बट अंडर द एन आर एच एम नेशनल रूरल हेल्थ मिशन हेल्थ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर वॉज बिल्ट इन द रूरल एरियाज लाइक दिस सब सेंटर्स प्राइमरी हेल्थ सेंटर्स देन यू नो देर आर कम्युनिटी हेल्थ सेंटर्स एट द ब्लॉक लेवल देन एट द डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल देर इज अ डिस्ट्रिक्ट हॉस्पिटल सो दिस सिस्टम गॉट स्ट्रेंदंड विद दिस प्रोग्राम विच लेटर ऑन यू नो गॉट कन्वर्टेड इन टू एन एच एम विच इज नेशनल हेल्थ मिशन बाय कम्बाइनिंग नेशनल रूरल हेल्थ मिशन एंड नेशनल अर्बन हेल्थ मिशन सो नाउ करंटली वी हैव नेशनल हेल्थ मिशन इन अवर कंट्री वेर बाय लॉट ऑफ बजेटिंग इज डन एंड लॉट ऑफ फिनेंशियल सपोर्ट इज गिवन फॉर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट इन हेल्थ सेक्टर अचीवमेंट्स ऑफ दिस पीरियड वॉज एट वी कुड अचीव सेवन पॉइंट सिक्स परसेंट ग्रोथ रेट इंक्रीज लिटरेसी रेट्स एंड हेल्थ केयर एक्सेस इन रूरल एरियाज पावर्टी रेट्स डिक्लाइन एंड एम्प्लॉयमेंट जनरेशन इंक्रीज सो दीज वर सम ऑफ द अचीवमेंट्स हाउ एवर देर वर सम क्रिटिक्स ऑल्सो राइजिंग फिजिकल डेफिसिट ड्यू टू इंक्रीज स्पेंडिंग विदाउट मैचिंग रेवेन्यू इन सफिशियंट फोकस ऑन एनवायरमेंटल सस्टेनेबिलिटी अमिट्स रैपिड इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन सो सी वेन एवर वी आर मेकिंग एनी इम्प्रूवमेंट इन टर्म्स ऑफ जी डी पी ग्रोथ और रिड्यूसिंग पावर्टी और इम्प्रूविंग द इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इन द कंट्री वी आर फेसिंग दिस फिजिकल डेफिसिट प्रॉब्लम सो वी आर नॉट एबल टू मैच अवर स्पेंडिंग विद द रेवेन्यूज सो अवर रेवेन्यू इज नॉट प्रपोर्शनेटली इंक्रीजिंग एंड विद यू नो सम इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रूडेंट पॉलिसीज टैक्सेशन पॉलिसीज यू नो वी हैव टू सी हाउ वी कैन इंक्रीज अवर रेवेन्यू ऑल्सो अलॉन्ग विद द एक्सपेंडिचर now next one is the 11th five year plan which is from 2007 to 12 focus areas and economic policy of this period was to achieve inclusive growth so see now we are talking about inclusive growth so uh, you know one plan after the other we are introducing new terminologies in our plan how our economic policy evolved over a period of time our economic thought process evolved that we are seeing here inclusive growth is basically a growth uh, whereby each and every section of the society especially the marginalized sections are also benefited from the economic growth process so it is not that only the rich people are getting richer or some regions of the country are getting benefited from the economic growth some cities are only getting benefited some particular communities are getting benefited but it is the entire society which is getting benefited that is called inclusive growth and inclusive growth is also one of the important topics in our upsc mains syllabus so that we are going to see uh, in much detail after this uh, so this was one of the focus areas of this uh, 11th five year plan job creation agricultural revival and addressing inequalities was the focus which again is kind of part of inclusive growth prioritize renewable energy and climate resilience so now we are talking about the environment also here climate resilience and renewable energy so by this time we also had the sdgs the sustainable development goals and this two were one of the par, uh, one of the uh, you know this two were also included in this sustainable development goals and we started talking about this in our country also some of the key projects during this period was launch of manrega for rural employment national action plan on climate change napcc which was an important plan actually it introduce sustainable development initiatives basically how we can balance our development with environmental sustainability so this plan gave guidelines to the government policies and also to the private sector as to how environment can be uh, conserved how environment can be protected along with our developmental initiatives and manrega as we know it is mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act uh, which was to give guaranteed 100 days of employment to a rural family so this was for rural area and the unit of beneficiary in this was a family that at least one member in the family will be given 100 days of guaranteed employment so this is basically unskilled labor employment okay these are not skilled jobs but what it guarantees is is the unskilled labor jobs 
of 100 days in a financial year in rural areas. So that is what Manrega program entails. Achievements of this period was average growth rate we achieved was 7.9%, almost touched 8% despite the global financial crisis of 2007-8. Rural employment and empowerment, uh, you know, rural employment generated empowerment to the people was given through Narega. Renewable energy initiative, solar and wind projects also took up. Critic of this plan was that growth was slower than expected after the global financial crisis. Quality of jobs and underemployment, Manrega criticized for inefficiency. There was a lot of leakages of funds also. Uh, fake beneficiary problem in Manrega, uh, ghost beneficiary problem. And also corruption in Manrega work was one of the critics that was there. It is still present in, in the Manrega. However, with digitization and with uh, direct benefit transfer, it has reduced significantly. Uh, but another uh, criticism of Manrega is the quality of jobs. So as I've told you, it provides with unskilled jobs, labor jobs. Basically, uh, you know, digging of mud from a place or, you know, some mud work, earth work. So, uh, so it did not really create any quality jobs, any actual training for the people giving them any meaningful employment it was just kind of a dole system which was given to the people environmental degradation continued despite uh, you know this national action plan on climate change due to industrial and urban expansion so this was the criticism of this plan uh, next one is that we'll study about the 12th five-year plan which was the last five-year plan as we know in 2014 the government changed and uh, uh, the, the new government which came in 2014 uh, abolished the planning commission and Niti Ayog was brought. However, in 2012, one uh, last five-year plan which was the 12th five-year plan had already started uh, and so it continued up to 2017. It completed its five-year terms and after that we did not have any five-year plan further. But we looked at the uh, Niti Ayog vision document, plan document uh, strategic document so that we'll see later in, in the next videos uh, but let us look at the background of the Niti Ayog what the focus area and economic policy was for the last five-year plan so it was for faster more inclusive and sustainable growth emphasis on energy water environmental sustainability targeted reducing gender disparities so see now we are talking about the gender disparities also improving governance uh, and digital infrastructure okay so this was also one of the focus areas key projects during this period was pradhan mantri jandhan yojana for financial inclusion opening of zero balance bank account for at least one member in the family again the national digital literacy mission aimed at digital empowerment swachh bharat mission was launched towards the end of plan for sanitation okay next is let us look at the achievements gdp growth was 6.5 percent progress in digital and financial inclusion we are now seeing we are slowly moving towards the present time now sanitation coverage improved uh, individual household latrines ihhl was uh, you know constructed uh, under this program and it gave toilets to the people personal toilets individual toilets to the people Digital literacy programs gained momentum, okay, and open defecation, free villages, and uh, gram panchayats was also one of the important, uh, you know, uh, factors of this Swachh Bharat mission. Critic, however, of this plan was that there was slowdown in growth. So previously, we saw that there was a growth rate of almost 8%. But during this period, the growth slowed down to 6.5%. Uh, implementation gaps in sustainable development and inclusive growth goals. There were some implementation gaps. Uh, as I told you, the maybe some ground level leakages, corruption. So that was the problem. High reliance on borrowing increased fiscal deficit affecting long term stability. So these are some of the, uh, you know, critics of this last five year plan. After this, we abolished the five year plan system. And in the next video, uh, we'll study about the Niti Aayog, uh, you know, which replaced Planning Commission. How it is different from Planning, uh, how it is different from Planning Commission. Uh, you know how our planning system changed. How currently we are, uh, you know, uh, uh, formulating our policies, our strategy for the long-term growth. Uh, we'll see about that in the upcoming videos. Thank you.